Hello, it's Parm King with two ways in which you can create traps using Foundry. One way we're going to use the uh, multi-level token. It's a great module. It's used for going uh, upstairs and reappearing somewhere else on the map. The other one is just going to be a quick hand-drawn method uh, in which I used in my last game. So let's go through both of these uh, quickly. Um, they can be done on the fly. They can actually be done, the, the one, the first one I'm going to show you, I actually did in-game uh, as it happened. So let's go through that scenario. So, oh, so here uh, on the screen, I have a character, um, and let's just zoom in here, and he gets grabbed. This is in uh, the Death House module. He gets grabbed by this ghoul who pulls him down the well. Now you can see the well here is kind of small. There's a battle in the bottom of the well. What I wanted to, to create, put him in the bottom of the well. There was other characters on the screen. And so what I did was this. I simply uh, found an empty spot on the, on the screen. I'm going to click off my character so you can see the full screen. The first thing I do is, and I, you can do this right during the game, you click on walls. Uh, and you just draw a around uh, round area, something like this. I'm not very good. There we go. And just close it off here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light in there. It's going to be kind of uh, dark, but I want to make it look like the bottom of the well. So I'm going to grab. I'm going to click on the light source. I'm going to just click right in the middle of the well and kind of drag it out somewhere about here. Okay. And I'm going to change the color. You can see it's already kind of hitting where all the walls are. I'm going to change the color of this. Uh, let me zoom in. And we're going to make the color of this uh, like a blue color. Uh, so kind of darkish, like blue, not too dark. You can see a little bit, it's gotta be like a bottom of the well kind of thing here. There we go, that looks good. Uh, we're gonna update that, see how that looks. Okay, and so you got this blue color here. Now we're gonna grab, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your character and you're just gonna drag them and put them in off the screen into that hole. And there you are, your character can't go anywhere. They're stuck in the bottom of this well. Um, and in this case, uh, let's just zoom in. So you just got this, it's like a bottom of the well. And we just drew this thing really quickly on the fly. And you can drag the other monster in here. And which, which happened, the, the, my character, or his character actually fell uh, on the monster in the bottom of the well, and so this is this is what your character sees. He can't he can't go anywhere. He's in the bottom of the well with this monster. Again, we can just look at the walls. I didn't do a really good job at drawing the walls, but you can see they're in this stuck in this. <laughs> I just drew it, uh, uh, you know, off on the side of the map. So this is a really good way of continuing to. Um, Kind of play a little bit of theater of the mind using the battle map. Uh, incorporate that well on the map. They have this this well over here, uh, and the well is just too small, right? It's it represented the map. There's action that happens, and so this this is a great way, you know. And you just make it blue, and uh, you have a little interesting scenario with your creatures here. Oh, there we go. Uh, let me just center that and. So that's one way to do it. That's just the kind of uh, haphazard, just jerry-rigging it, doing it on the fly. But it was great. It, it was a great scene in the game. The player fell down, landed on top of the, the ghoul. Another player jumped in, landed on both of them, did about 1d4 damage on them, and there was a fight in the bottom of the well. And so that's how we, we did that on the fly. The next one I'm going to show you involves using a module. Let's say we want to place a trap uh, right here. And what we're gonna do is using this module, I'm gonna show you the module really quick. Uh, the module here is called uh, multi-level tokens, multi-level tokens right here. 
You can see that. Okay, so this is what this is how we use it to build a trap, actually. So I'm going to build a trap. Uh, my, my characters are going to fall into. Um, it could be a pit trap, whatever trap you want. You just want your characters to fall into this trap. We're going to go to the drawing tool here. Okay, we're going to click the box. And I'm going to draw on this square right here, draw this square right here. Okay, and I'm going to draw another square right over here. Okay, now on this square, I'm going to highlight the square. We've got two squares. I'm going to highlight this square here. And I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to click on the little gear. And I'm going to type in at in colon trap okay that means anybody that goes into the square is going to go to the location the other location which is the bottom of the trap so we click update notice that i have this invisible you make this invisible so your players can't see it and now i'm going to highlight this one in here and i'm going to right click on it click the gear and i'm going to type in at out colon Trap. You got to make sure uh, it's spelled exactly like the other one. I believe it is case sensitive. I use capital T here, so it's not going to work. So I'm just going to go back and fix that really quick. So just in case, um, I do believe it is case sensitive. Um, just be safe. And your trap is built. So how does this work? Well, let's grab a character and see how our trap works. So we're going to grab our character that was stuck in the well. And he's freed himself. Ta-da! He's all happy. And he thinks his life is great. He's gotten out of the well. He's fought off this monster. And he's just going to rush down the hallway. And everything's going to be, oh, what happened? He's now in another trap. Uh, so what happened in this is this is an instruction. Go into this trap here, and you come out of the trap over here. So he's stuck in here. There is literally nothing this player can do. He is stuck in here. <laughs> You've stuck him in a wall. Technically, you just put him inside a wall. I, he could probably move. Actually, he can move because I didn't wall him in. Let's see. Yeah, he can actually move in here. So what you could do is if you wanted to, you could. You got to wall him in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just wall this guy in so he can't move. And uh, you can just do that by... Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Let's do it from start here. Okay, now he's really walled in. Okay, and there's nothing. Oh, that's, there's nothing you can do at this point. So he is, he is stuck in there nice and good. And if you want to give him a little light, you, you know, you could. You can make it kind of... You can kind of make it scary. So let's just try to make this a scary trap for this guy. We want to make him just a little scared, maybe. Um, we don't want him crying or anything, do we? You can start crying and, you know, that doesn't go well for anybody, right? You get like some crying paladin. Um, so we're going to make this kind of scary. We're going to make it like a blood-filled trap. And it's going to just kind of bubble with some different colors. I'd like to use... I love this uh, dancing lighting, so I'm going to just turn enable dancing lighting, and I'm going to do uh, dancing lighting effects, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try to panic him a little bit here. There we go. It's coming up to this like oh, I'll drop down to the, on that screen. I'm going to make it. Um, ooh, we can make it a like a. Let's make it. Let's try and see what lightning looks like. I've never used lightning before. Um, so let's just see what happens. I've never used lightning. Uh, maybe it doesn't do anything. Let's go back to the character. And if it doesn't do anything, then let's see what's happening to him. Yep, yeah, it's not doing much. So let's go back to my original idea. And I'll show you what I was going to do. So I just click on this. I go down here. I click on fade. I'm gonna do fade and I'm 
uh, fade and enable two colors. I'm going to do red and like a yellow orangish color here. Red orange. There we go. That's good. And then update that. Now, now when we get in there, he's going to be in this trap. It's going to kind of flip out from red and orange, and he might get a little scared. And we don't, you know, you know how paladins get when they fall into traps. They start crying a little bit, whatnot. And so this is what the paladin's experiencing in here. Oh my gosh, I'm in this trap. And uh, there's a little light leakage here because I didn't do a good job on the wall. Anyway, that gives you the idea of what you can do with traps. The only way to get him out of this trap, obviously, is the DM. You're going to have to drag him out. But, you know, once you drag him out, you know how paladins are. They're just going to go right back into the trap again. He's just going to walk right back into it and end up back in the trap. Um, because this is only one way, he can't get out of here unless you drag him out. Uh, so what you could do if you wanted to get kind of silly and creative, um, you could you could get rid of this wall and you could make the wall come out somewhere else. Like you could you could make the wall. I don't know. Just you could just be silly with this and create a whole another expansion from the dungeon. And you know what? Just for just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna do that. So let's zoom in here. I'm gonna get rid of this. This one here that I just made, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to reconnect this, make sure this one's connected. So I don't get that light leakage. Okay. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to have him, where should I have him come out? I'm going to have him come out in the bottom of the well. Oh my gosh, this is brilliant. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So I'm going to start uh, here. I'm going to draw... From here, and I'm going to go right up to here. I'll just go up to here like this. Oop. Whoa, I just went too far. I get a little excited sometimes. Okay, boop. And we'll just close that off. And then I'm going to do another one right here. And he will be able to travel out to the bottom of the well. That might be the only way he can get out. He's falling in the trap. So far down, he's got to go out to the well and they gotta haul him up out of the well. This would be a brilliant idea. In fact, I just came up with this great idea myself just now. Let's see if I can get this to work. We'll just uh, connect this here. Oh, I hate when it does that. Okay, let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna draw a new line right to here. I'll make it right here, like a kind of a cave wall. And connect this here so he can't get through. So it's connected up. And we gotta make sure that this one down here is connected too. Come on, I'm not doing that well. Uh, I don't know why it's not connecting very well. I think it'll work. So let's just get rid of these lines in here. Uh, yeah, these right here. I thought I could. Man, what is going on with me? Now, remember, there's a monster in the bottom of the well, so we got to be careful. Boom. Why is it highlighting them for me? Okay, well, we'll get rid of this one. And I'll get rid of this one. And I'll get rid of this one. And I'll get rid of that one. There we go. So here's the bottom of the well, and we're gonna drop our character in there and see if this works. This is just kind of on the fly. So let's see what our character, this is what our character's gonna see here. Got him selected. There we go. And he's gonna go to the bottom of the well. I mean, fall into the trap. It's the first thing he's gonna do. Oh, he's falling into the trap. Oh, I think I can get out. Let me go this way. He's going up there. Oh my gosh, I'm in the bottom of the well and there's a creature down here. So <laughs> here we go. We just put this together really fast. It's rather silly, but you get the idea. You know, you can just, I just drew some walls and I connected the bottom of this trap in the middle of nowhere into the bottom of the well. Or vice versa, you go to the bottom of the well and you can come out the trap. So those are just two easy ways to make a trap, add some excitement to their game, use a module um, to create traps, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click like. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow us. Uh, we uh, host a game every Thursday night, 6 p.m. UTC uh, plus 1 on YouTube. Um, it's Legends of Barovia, Curse of Strahd. We've got a great group of people. Thanks very much, and make sure to like the video, and may all your roles be critical.